Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars and I have for you today a condensed version of the pose do geostorms cause sensations of pain and visual hallucinations in human beings. This is, as far as I know, it's an original hypothesis by, by me, Alice B. Cliggett. The version that I'll read to you today won't have in it the references. If you want the references, you can find them in the post by the same name in my website, Awakening with Planet Earth, https colon slash slash awakeningwithplanetearth.com. You can go there and search by the title. I would like to pose the question, does turmoil in Earth's magnetosphere and ionosphere due to severe geostorms cause increased sensations of pain and visual hallucinations in human beings. First, there's a very short topic, electricity and the human nervous system. As you may know, the nervous systems of human beings have electric and magnetic properties. Nervous system messages are communicated by means of electricity within the body. The next section is static and dynamic magnetism and dampening or excitation, that means the state of being excited, of nerve messages. From what I can tell, a static magnetic field may damp down nervous system signals. Here's a subsection, static magnetic fields and pain dampening. A nerve dampening effect putatively exerted by strong static magnetic fields may account for alternative medical claims that magnetic bracelets and anklets damp down arthritic pain. As pain is sensed through nerve impulses, the National Center for Complementary and Integrative Health Care at the National Institutes of Health has, as yet, insufficient evidence for the widely held popular belief that magnets reduce osteoarthritic pain, but it has found that electromagnetic mats can do so to some extent. It has also found them effective in the treatment of migraines. Here's a section entitled Static Magnetic Fields and Dampening of the Striate Cortex, that's in the brain, the visual impulse. A research article has been done that shows strong static magnetic fields make the striate cortex, the visual impulse of the brain, of cats less excitable. The striate is a wedge-shaped area in the posterior of, of the occipital lobe of the brain at the back of the head, opposite the eyes. Here's a section entitled, Dynamic Magnetic Fields and Proposed Visual Hallucination Effect. Conversely, it seems to me possible that dynamic magnetic fields might result in visual hallucinations due to interference with smooth pursuit eye movements. So then, broadly speaking, I gather that the electric force, that's the electric force within the body, facilitates nervous system messages, that static electromagnetic fields have a pain dampening effect, and perhaps also a nervous system message dampening effect, and by extension, that dynamic electromagnetic fields might have nervous system message jangling effects 
resulting in visual field disturbances, such as hallucinations. This section is entitled Magnetism and Electricity in Earth's Magnetosphere and Ionosphere. Earth's magnetosphere has magnetic properties and the ionosphere beneath it has electric and dynamic magnetic properties. According to Wikipedia, and I quote, the magnetosphere is the region above the ionosphere that is defined by the extent of the Earth's magnetic field in space. It extends several tens of thousands of kilometers into space, protecting the Earth from the charged particles of the solar wind and cosmic rays that would otherwise strip away the upper atmosphere, including the ozone layer that protects the Earth from harmful ultraviolet radiation. To continue with the quote, Electric currents induced in the ionosphere generate magnetic fields, that is, ionospheric dynamo regions. Such a field is always generated near where the atmosphere is closest to the sun, causing daily alterations that can deflect surface magnetic fields by as much as one degree. That's the end of the quote from Wikipedia. It's from an article entitled Earth's Magnetic Field in Wikipedia. Then there is a question of the effect of geomagnetic storms upon Earth's magnetosphere. Wikipedia states in the same article, and I quote, the varying conditions in the magnetosphere, that's the magnetosphere of Earth, known as space weather, are largely driven by solar activity. If the solar wind is weak, the magnetosphere expands, while if it is strong, it compresses the magnetosphere and more of it gets in that is to say, more of the solar wind. Periods of particularly intense activity, called geomagnetic storms, can occur when a coronal mass ejection erupts above the sun and sends a shock wave through the solar system. Such a wave can take just two days to reach the Earth. Geomagnetic storms can cause a lot of disruption. The Halloween storm of 2003 damaged more than a third of NASA's satellites. The largest documented storm occurred in 1859. It induced currents strong enough to short out telegraph lines and Aurorae were reported as far south as Hawaii. The last section is entitled, We Are Earth's Children, Our Nervous Systems Dance to Her Tune. We humankind are Earth's children. Our nervous systems dance to the tune of her magnetosphere and ionosphere. When the latter are dynamically in motion, then so are our own nervous systems, which depend upon the energies of magnetism and electricity. Here's a subsection entitled, Effect of Geostorms on Humankind. I ran across an image by Marcus Varick from 16 March 2019 in an article entitled, Post-Apocalypse maybe, question mark, and that was an image of the 16 March 2019 equinox crack in Earth's magnetosphere. And it was clear from that image that geostorms make the magnetosphere and the ionosphere 
more chaotically dynamic, less static. Here's a sub subsection feelings of physical pain and of emotional pain. Then, because the ionosphere and the magnetosphere will become less static, which is to say more dynamic during geostorms, we can anticipate more feelings of physical pain and possibly also emotional pain during those solar events. One more sub subsection entitled Nervous System Excitability, Excitement of Clair Perception, that's ESP, and Possible Visual Hallucinations during Geostorms. I feel we can anticipate more nervous system excitability as evidenced by findings in uh, the experimental neurology article entitled Magnetic Field Influence on Central Nervous System Function by A.D. Rosen and J. Lubowski. That was in March of 1987. Mm, volume 95, issue 3, pages 679 to 87. Consistent with this, if the pain dampening response to static electromagnetic mats alluded to by the NIH might infer a wider nervous system dampening response, then the non static nature of geostorms might support temporary excitement of the nervous system, including, possibly, temporary excitement of clair perception, or ESP. In addition, striate cortex excitation under geostorm conditions might give rise to visual hallucinations due to impairment of smooth pursuit eye movements. Well, that was a mouthful. I have a suggestion to you for further reading uh, from my website, Awakening with Planet Earth. You can go there, https colon slash slash awakeningwithplanetearth.com, as priorly mentioned, and search for the title of this video, Do Geostorms Cause Sensations of Pain and Visual Hallucinations in Human Beings? Then you'll find all the remaining references and places you can go to seek more information on this topic. This is an original, as far as I know, it's an original hypothesis by me, Alice B. Cliget, and I'd be very interested to know what you think of it and what your research will bring to bear upon the topic. It could be, for instance, that the mystics all down through the ages of Earth have had their visions of the cosmos during times of geostorm and, and dynamic magnetospheric activity here on Earth. Now, if that's true, you could say that they have hallucinations. But the question is, why is it that the hallucinations, quote unquote, that they have all have a common theme. In addition, it's possible that the visions of end times and hell worlds and all the awful things that people sometimes see uh, in their visions might take place in similar times of geomagnetic unrest here on Earth. And the question is, if, they, if these all have similar themes as well, what bearing do they have on our understanding of the astrogeophysical realm? Now my notion is that there are lots of different dimensions and that each dimension, is each spatial place has, has three qualities, positive, negative, and neutral. 
Positive you might call heaven. Neutral you might call purgatory. And negative you might call hell. Esoteric lore has it that there are seven levels for each of these. Uh, so there'd be seven sorts of hell worlds, seven sorts of purgatory worlds, and seven sorts of hell worlds. But in, in addition to that, I say as a light worker and a multi-dimensionalist that there are many different dimensions that can be experienced by a human being, each dimension carrying the aspects of positive, neutral, and negative. In other words, there's a, a heaven world, seven levels of a heaven world uh, in the heart chakra, seven levels of a purgatory world there, and seven levels of a hell world in the heart chakra. In the throat chakra, the same. In the third eye point, the same. In the crown chakra, the same. And in every other chakra, whether a personal chakra, the new chakras of the superconscious mind, low chakras of the, the unconscious mind, whatever it is, each of these chakras carries to us the information of one dimension, one dimensional location, which may be flavored heaven world, purgatory world, or hell world. So, if we have uh, a geostorm, and people suddenly become aware through ESP or through clear perception of more than they ever knew before. Depending on the flavor of the chakra through which they experience the dimension, they may sense the beauty of God's creation in the heaven worlds. They may sense end times apocalypse and total destruction in the hell worlds or something in, in between. I'm adding that as kind of a postscript thought to the post that you'll see online at my website, Wickening with Planet Earth. I have a suggestion to you for further reading uh, from my website, Awakening with Planet Earth. You can go there, https colon slash slash awakeningwithplanetearth.com as priorly mentioned, and search for the title Compendium, colon, Heaven's Door, period. Geostorms as dimensional portals. That's a post by me, published on 3 July 2020. God bless you all. Keep you safe and be with you through all your days.